G'day everyone. So recently I've been doing a fair bit of research into machine learning and vision technologies. And you might have seen my last video where I was able to use Neurella's Brain Builder app to quickly teach a model the difference between a tidy and untidy switchboard. If you want to check out that video, just go to my LinkedIn timeline and you'll see it there. Uh, but also in that video, I mentioned some companies that had some uh, machine learning cloud services. Um, one of those companies is Google, and I wanted to show you today how I was able to teach a model to detect tree roots using some sewer CCTV vision that I was able to get off uh, YouTube. So this is uh, typical within our industry where you would see uh, long lengths of CCTV vision and the operator would have to go and, and uh, detect what's inside the pipe like a blockage of tree roots uh, manually whereas something like this technology you could batch upload videos um, and then it will tell you what part of the video the tree roots are in or blockages. So you might be saying, I think I've seen this before and it's probably because you have. And only recently after I, I taught this model, somebody said, oh, I see City West Water have already done this. Um, so they've done some really cool work and, and done some bounding boxes and around tree roots and blockages. So I would suggest checking it out, uh, going to their LinkedIn timeline. Um, and it was about 12 months ago. So but this is just an exercise in how you might be able to use this technology in your business for different things. So um, without further ado, let's go to the computer. Okay, so here we are in Google Cloud Platform um, where we're in the video intelligence section. And when you first get to this tab, you'll be presented with the dashboard and it's going to ask you whether you want to go with the classification model or your object tracking model. Now, I'm just doing a really simple uh, use case. So I've been using the classification model, which is just gonna detect labels within a certain timeline of the video. But if you wanted to do something different, like uh, what City West Water were doing with bounding boxes and object tracking, you would use the object tracking um, machine learning model. So uh, let's just go get started. Now I've already set up a data set um, for this. Uh, so you would obviously create a new one. <clears throat> and when, when you first get started, it's going to want you to import a CSV file um, and where you're going to get your training data and test data from is videos that you've uploaded into Google's cloud storage. So um, there's plenty of documentation on how to do that. So I'll just move forward um, with the videos that I've uploaded. So now you can see these, um, what I've done is actually split it into two separate labels um, just to make it really simple. So I've set up some training data on a clean pipe and some tree roots. So as you can see, there's some tree roots here. Um, this one's a clean pipe, uh, clean pipe, clean pipe. And they're just short snippets of video that the model is going to learn from and, and train um, so you can test with. So um, moving on, the next tab that you will go to is train. So when you've got all your data, and this is minimum viable product, by the way. I mean, you should have, you know, a hundred videos that it can train and learn from. Um, I've only put in 22, which is the, the base amount that it's been asked for. Um, so once you've got all your data, um, you go to the train tab and it's going to check out, you can check out the full evaluation of what your data looks like. Um, but once you, it's already gone to the evaluate because I've already evaluated it, but you, you would then train it and it goes to this evaluation page and tells you what the errors are uh, and the, the average precision across your whole model looks like based on that training data. And you can see here that it's, it's super, I've, I've really drilled down on the videos uh, and the sections and labels that I wanted. So it's pretty, it's pretty happy with the data that it's got. So then you would use the um, move on to the test and use tab. And I've already uploaded a video. This is where you would upload a video that you would 
wouldn't rather have taught the the model. So something it hasn't seen before, um, so that you can test and see whether it works. So if we go to view, <clears throat> you could also batch upload these as well. If you had 10, 20 videos, you could submit all these and go through them. So here's a video that I knew had some really long sections of clean pipe and then in the middle had some tree roots so as you can see it's picked up here that it's got clean pipe all along here until it gets to about the middle and we can see some tree roots and across here is the um the confidence level um as a factor of one so as i would teach this model more it would be more confident in what it was seeing but at the moment like minimum viable product viable product it's 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 only seeing parts of those tree roots but um so you can see the confidence score here it's picked 50 percent which is fine for what we're doing here um so if you were to select this section it would go through um but we don't want to see the whole video we want to know in here is this a tree root i mean you've told me it is well yeah it is um, and then obviously it's it's lost a little bit of the tree rooty. It's not confident in this little section here um, But as it moves into this we can see it's got an above confidence score of 50 um, And of course it it's obviously a tree root um, and then moving forward uh, We've got clean pipe the whole time So that's just a really quick example of what this technology can do um, the best thing about these models is that you can push them out into an API um, and then use them um, using your external interfaces. Um, so if anybody wants to get into this, um, you can get in contact with me via LinkedIn if you want, um, or just get started. The Google Cloud platform is free for 12 months. Um, and if you're doing a lot of models, it might cost you a little bit of money to train them. But at the moment when you just getting started it, it's it's all relatively cheap stuff so uh, yeah have a go uh, let us know what you think um, in the comments below